people. <clears throat> All right. Welcome you know to Shredcast. All right, person. I'm just talking. I'm just saying. Uh, Shredcast.com, 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, 8 o'clock other places. Shredcast.com. I am uh, Jim Are you Jones. sick? No, 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 no. I'll be back. Are you tired? All right. You're just what gone? You? You're just All gone? Right. Okay, All whatever. Right. Yeah, this is Shredcast. I'm Andy uh, Schrock from YouTube.com slash Andrew Schrock, and then the guy that has the giraffe on his shirt is probably going to say something. How's it going, guys? I'm Josh, and uh, um, yeah, I was actually going to say that I'm Josh. Yep. Yeah, okay. What is, what, what's your shirt before Doug talks? It's uh, LRG, dude. It's Lifted Research. Okay, cool. All right, Doug, who are you, buddy? Or I'm Doug. Doug from Amphigator.com and YouTube Flash Amphigator. And I'm a skateboarder. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube, dude. <laughs> welcome, welcome to a web chat. Hey, so, so what's what's uh, hypothesis or what's wrong with Steve? Uh, uh, Blind Ninja. Sorry, that's his name. He's bro. probably having a bad day, dude. It's like what is it? Five o'clock? This shit broke. I guess you're having a bad day. I mean, Are you going to work? Are you going to work, Black Ninja? Can't hear you. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna start the episode off. <laughs> God, what the uh, fuck is this? Is it gonna work at all? <laughs> it works, it's just broken now. I look retarded. <laughs> Honestly, it kinda looks like it could be a new style. Like, here, I'll do it too, man. This is fucked up. I can't. I wanna fix this, but I wish it would happen at the end of the show and not the fucking beginning. <laughs> you look like you have one of those Canadian hats that cover your ears. <laughs> you know, like, that flop around. Yeah, like, damn it. Fuck you have like a droopy shit. dog ear. These are expensive In the too. Way, that's how I play video games. What were you guys talking about? You focus the headphones. Dude, the Slasher video. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna go swinging, Josh Katz? No, I can't hear anything. It should have talked about this. Dude, I, I'm, 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 re like, I'm revved up, man. All right, so the Slasher put out a video today. If you haven't seen it, what it's something here? I do in a fakey heel. And you know, it's really cool, really amazing. But what really got me excited, ticked off, whatever. The beginning. Um. Where they publicly shame some filmer for holding out on footage, and um, all right, so we don't have the full story. You know, we we watched the Thrasher video, and that's probably about it. But you know, some guy is trying to hold out on footage, and Thrasher publicizes it, and like they shame him basically, and say, "Oh yeah, you're never gonna get a job in the industry." And, like, yeah, I think that's so lame. Like, for I wouldn't Thrasher, call it shaming. I would just say they're calling him out. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the filmer was the asshole first, and he gets what he deserves because he was an asshole about it. I don't know. I feel like it's shaming when you try and publicize it and like make everyone like. All right, let's let's break it down though. Okay, first off, one, you know what's is, I think that it, the, what the filmer did was really crappy because the he Jim Greco shows his email and is very respectful and he just he says like, hey, I heard you filmed this. That's what we were trying to hit. That's awesome. Uh, you send it to me and I'll make sure you get paid. That's awesome, right? It's and it's and not it's her. not for Thrasher. It's for his video that he's going to publish on Thrasher. Dude, it's it's respectful it's, until you post it online with his full name and everything. I yeah, no, I understand. I'm just saying I completely see why Jim Greco is mad because that was and one, it shouldn't be even up to that dude. It should be up to Rambo who actually did the fake heel flip. Like I would be super it's, it's like live. when you break it down, like that filmer is really crappy. Like I. <laughs> I do agree with you, Josh. Well, it's it's kind of it kind of sucks that he went on blast, like especially when he puts his social media thing on there, like his Instagram. But I can completely understand why they were why they were, they were mad. What I was shocked is that I went onto the Instagram, I went onto Jim Greco's Instagram, and not one person has your opinion. Like everybody was like, "Screw this guy," and and like and then the because I guess this guy wants to get a job on Transworld. And even the editor of Transworld said, I don't even know who this is, but screw him. We're not going to give him a job. Like, this guy really is screwed. Yeah, yeah, he blacklisted himself big time. Yeah, the guy's a jerk, and he I guess he didn't mess himself up. But, like, I just think what Thrasher did is really lame. And I, I totally encourage him. I, I, I don't think it was Thrasher. I think it was, it was Jim Greco. All right, was, all right. The whole, yeah, that, you know, I just think you should stand up against the big guys. Like, um, people were saying that when I have my, my face smash, that I should send it into a hollow meat. I'm like... Why would I do that? You know, like I, I'd rather have it for myself, and you know, you don't just don't just give in to the like the big guys. I guess that's all I'm saying. Well, 
you're right. I, I, I do see. I completely see what you're saying about like it sucks that he will put him on blast for the whole world to hate on him now. How about this? We just say but there are many more things against this dude than than like are, than that. I, yeah, I, I, like I, I, he that that kid filmed it knowing that Rambo was filming it for this piece. Like there was no question about it, and the guy's just straight up saying like, "No, screw you. It's for Thrasher." And I, like you know, that's the reason why he did the fakey heel flip. All right, Josh. What 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 if Jim Greco emailed you and wanted that clip for his, his video, and then your phone wouldn't give it up? Would, and I didn't want to give it up. Huh? And if, what what do you what do you what's the question? I'm saying if if Jim Greco asked for a clip from you for for his video and wanted to, wanted to promote you, but your phone said no. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, Matt. I think Jim Greco and the filmer are both assholes in this situation. Can we leave it at that? You're not gonna do anything bad. <sighs> he tried well, to ruin this kid's career. He ruined himself. He didn't. He didn't, didn't do it. He's, you know. Well, it's, that's the precedent. You don't, that. you don't hold someone footage. You don't say, "Oh, I'm not gonna give him footage because I own it." All I'm saying is, it sets no, the precedent that you have to give in to Thrasher and give in to the. Yeah, but he didn't say it. no. I, he, he didn't try to work with him at all. He's like, "No, I deleted it. Fuck you. Get out of here." Pretty much, you know, like. He was an asshole about it, so he, he gets shit on. He shit on himself. And he, well, and he, like he said, that was after repeated attempts for him to get the footage. I don't like know. Because Draco said a nice email. I don't know. Who knows, dude? You know what? This, I actually – I am not. I wasn't in a similar situation, but it, it kind of, there's this – you know, believe it or not, on YouTube you get hate comments sometimes. And I got a hate comment, and it said, and it said, you're gay. I hope you die. Quit YouTube or something like that. And I made a whole skit based around this comment. And I put his comment on it, and his I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal, but everyone blew up because they you know they read who what account it was from and they started blowing him up talking trash. But I was literally like just joking with it, and I actually blacked out his name because like I didn't, it, guy yeah the guy had it coming to him. I didn't want to like I didn't yeah you know, I didn't want to blow his whole account up. You yeah. should watch it. And the skit is called I'm Gay. So go to my account and just watch I'm Gay. Did you see the um what is it the in the comment where some girl on a Twitter like threatened an airline like she made yeah, some like a a a yeah she was just some like you know little kid I don't know I don't I'm know mad if still dumb you don't do that she was just making a really awful mess what, up I, I I don't even know what that is what's what's that about she just said some something bad is gonna happen to United Airlines on on like some date. And she, she, and she tried to go like pretend to be a terrorist and then yeah she's like I'm I'm from Al Qaeda and something bad is yeah. gonna happen bye bye. The airline yeah. responded saying like, "Oh yeah, you're like FBI blacklist or whatever." Like on our, I don't know, something like that. Edwin, it was like an eight-year-old girl. She was a teenage girl, I think. I'm not positive. But she, she knew better. You don't, you don't call it a bomb threatening like that. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. There's no I, I agree. This bomb. Okay. No, here's a good question though. That's crazy. Okay, so the government, when you're not doing anything, the government knows everything you're up to. But then, and a twelve-year-old girl can get in trouble. If the government's that smart and knows everything that's going on, don't they just be like, oh, that's some 12-year-old. I don't care about her. They, if they know everything, you know, they shouldn't well, be worried about it. What, a terrorist can't be 12 years old? I'm back. But, no, no. Uh, well, you, you got to take any threat seriously now. You can't, you can't fuck around. Yeah, I know, but it's just, it kind of goes to show you that, like, the government doesn't actually know. Us. You know, like, never mind. Yeah, well, uh, my, well, friends, like, my, my friends, not my friends, but people in my neighborhood one time trash-talked, said something about Obama, like assassinating Obama or something. And it probably wasn't even that extreme. They just trash talked Obama somehow, and Fed showed up at their house. Yeah, I mean, they they take all that stuff seriously. I know. Because I mean, it's, it, just shows, you know, it just shows you that the government doesn't actually know all everything, everything, because they have to back, they have to investigate everything. They might come to my house, and be like, "Did you say that?" I'm like, "Yeah, I was in Whoa, reference." Oh, Doug's face looks crazy. So if the Feds come in, they'll be on Shredcast with us. Oh, uh, that actually probably be a good guess. So it'd be interesting. You know, um, can can I give you guys what really happened with uh, the fakey heel flip? Sure. <laughs> okay, it's all part of the. Let me guess. Skateboard no, no. Illuminati. Well, no. Okay, <laughs> he was gonna do it, but when he when he so called landed it, he actually got sidetracked and went to a subway with some strippers. No, two things happened. Okay. okay. Number one, he never did the fakey heel flip in the first place. It was never done. He actually fakey heel flipped in the skate park weeks before this aired. Okay. <laughs> he couldn't do it in the street because it's harder. It's more difficult. He was rolling in on that ramp. 
Yeah, so Jim Greco like, dude, fast, found man. a that way was, to cover crazy. it up. Not only that, okay? Jim Greco covered it up to make uh, park skating allowed. That's what he did, number one. It's a slow... Wow. Eventually, we're all just going to be imprisoned in skate parks, and that's all we're going to be allowed to skate. But... I can't wait, dude. If you watch the slow-mo <laughs> and the fast-mo... In the slow mo, he clipped the table, or in the fast mo, he clipped the table. In the slow mo, somehow he didn't clip the table. They could, could have took out the sound. I, I, think I didn't know. I was. I you think, think they you know what? The table? You're smart because that's that's what they did. You're 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 the that's what they did. Okay, so beware. Continue. You know <laughs> Continue the topic. You know what <laughs> would be ingenious though, and this would make Jim Greco my favorite dude in the wor whole world if all of this was fabricated just to pipe up the video. Like, this guy doesn't even exist. And they're like, we're going to put some dramatic story. We're going to have ring dings and podcasts talking about us, hyping it up. Everyone's going to go watch it because it's dramatic. Ring dings? I, ho I hope that's the truth behind it. We all ring dings. It's all I don't get it. Just call us all ring dings. Yeah. Why, why didn't they come in the parking lot? Why, why inside a – why in – why in – the Okay. Average? Also, yeah, did you see when they walked out to the table? It was just nope, nothing. Nothing around anywhere. No, no students. No school. I think I watched that BS. I think I watched it. I feel like there is a place somewhere in California where you can put a table on the street and yeah. skate it. You can. They just want to do it in the house of hammers. Yeah. Motion. Or just go there after school, man. Like. And not only that, Rambo. Does that sound like a real name? Yeah, he's <laughs> no, not even a real it's person. Not. No, it's CGI. It's he's CGI. a he's a paid actor. And that was that was Wade Disarmo doing a nollie heel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it, also one Jim Greco was super serious in that video. I think you know, maybe that I was, but he was like dead serious the whole time. It made no like, sense. Whoa. He's like, dude, I got some bad news. I got to tell it to you after I measure this table. I'm like, <laughs> dude, are you fucking retarded? Can I? No, I just came here to skate, bro. <laughs> I uh, I um. One of my friends like met Jim Greco and sat down and talked to him for like an hour, and he said he was like the nicest, most down to earth dude in the whole world, which is another dude. Why do I feel like I've heard that about every pro? Every pro is the nicest, most down. -to -earth. Oh no, dude, who is it? Uh, John Ailey. John Ailey peed on the handrail when when Sierra Fellers was going to skate. And, and, and then he cut it too. I think he cut it all down because anyone else, anyone skating it. Was it jo John Ailey? I think so. He sounds. Oh like wow! All right, we'll see. There bitch. you go. Lizard King. I've heard bad things about Lizard King. Lizard King's fucking chill as hell. Really? Uh, <laughs> it was like what it, Max on the team. Like one of Max's friends, like was skating with him, and he was cool. And then uh, he they got he got his number. And then like a few weeks later, he was like, "Hey, uh, I saw that you're in town. Let's skate." And he was just like, "Who is this?" It's like and he told him, and he was like, "He was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't mean that. I don't care about you. Like f off." What? Yeah, like. So, maybe that's what I heard. could be true. Who knows? I'm just saying there are some bad stories about pros, but I've heard nothing but good things about Jim Greco. F find a good story about a uh, Nyjah. Good luck with that. Did you guys did you talk about? Oh, we talked about the naked thing. Have you, you seen guys the crackers about commercial me? yet? Huh? What? No. Oh, oh God. Is he I, in it? I hate to be the one to break this to you guys. Nyjah is in a crackers commercial. Like, a, I can't wait to what, see what, what kind of crackers? What? I don't know, like little crackers that come in, like the little little snack crackers. Oh, like club crackers? Yeah, like little crackers. I don't know, but it's Look, so fucking I would, stupid. I would be in a Triscuits commercial, but I would I wouldn't sell myself out uh, to saltines or. Uh, I I would. I need money. I'll do saltines, but we if I was like, I if I was really them. into the crackers, I could. Oh, all right, I'm gonna be gone for a second. I I'm can't. down with crackers. Look, but weekends, I, I just feel like a. Someone link the crackers oh, thing in the chat because we need to. It's fucking crazy. He's like, I don't remember how it was, but it was something like, I never skate without these crackers, and then he does like a tray flip or something. It's something crazy. I'm broken hungry. I'll, I'll take a check in crackers. Yeah, but it'd be cool if you could just be in the background skating while like someone, yeah. like a voice talked about crackers, not hold them up like, I sure love these crackers. They make me skate good. I would have to be like, Black I would. I'll turn down anything I don't believe in. Like if Chipotle came out to me, I'd be like, you know what? I love Chipotle. I'll do something with Chipotle. Or if, you I'm know, if, like Nintendo. I was like, yeah, I'll be a Nintendo. Like Xbox. 
Yeah. <laughs> no. Although I don't support people like people are so stupidly territorial of video game systems. It's funny though. I, I personally don't care for Xbox, but you know, if you want to play an Xbox, go for it. Um, so Xbox kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have you guys had any uh, situations where you have to deal with filmers holding on to your footage? No. Um. Lagger, you know what, though? You lag a lot. A lot of them. No, because I everything that's filmed of me is always on my camera. I did have a photographer take that's a picture. Why I bought a camera. Awesome ph- photograph of me one time, and he wanted like four hundred bucks for it, and I was like, no. You can't fuck off. Well, Not he was it. like, he shot for Big Brother, man. He was like a, a super legit. With a Rick or someone else? I, can't say. I need you guys to watch. This. It was that was a Midwest ph- photographer. He's really talented. He wasn't like rude or anything. I was just kind of bummed that he wanted money for it. You know, like it was a nose grind on some really long nine steer. Oh, I think it, it wasn't was for an ad or anything. You shouldn't ask for money. No, I was. It might maybe I, I don't know. I might have been asking him for something for my sponsor, but they didn't have the money to. They were. The, I guess they did run in that. I don't know. Whatever. I was bummed. He should have worked with you a little bit though. Hey, who is the photographer? If you don't mind saying him, or you probably do. Never mind. Uh, I can say it. He's he's a he wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't like hating on the guy. Like he was just doing his job. It was Andrew Hutchinson. Okay, guys, stop. We are somehow off air. I don't know how. I don't know why. We are gonna fix this right now.